Oh boy, the Instagram game has changed yet again. Good news, it's not too late to grow your Instagram. I'm gonna share with you my 2021 Instagram marketing strategy, and it includes several things that you'll never Hey guys, my name is Rachel Peterson. I'm a social media strategist and I'm excited to share with you guys my 2021 marketing strategy for Instagram. Now, we have had some serious success on Instagram considering the backstory of our <laughs> Instagram. If you know it, it's crazy intense. And so we've come a long way with our Instagram account. But one of the most beautiful things for me is realizing that even though some people think that Instagram is dead or Instagram no longer works, Instagram is alive and kicking, and not only is it alive and kicking, but over the last month, we have grown by something like 15 or 16,000 followers on Instagram. It's insane! Today, I have over 100,000 followers on Instagram, and we grow every single day. So I'm excited to share with you exactly what we're going to do, but I'm gonna start with sharing the things that we're gonna stop doing. Now, if you want a really cool and meta lesson, head on over to my Instagram profile and follow me so that that way you can watch as you see me doing these things. It's a really great way to have an example of what each of these things look like in action. Here are four things that I am gonna stop doing in 2021. Number one is shooting for perfection. I'm not very good at trying for perfection. I'm not the most stylish person. I'm not the most put together person. I'm not good at decorating. Believe it or not, I have people help me with that because I can't, I can't decorate my way out of a box. But this is super, super important for you, for me, for everyone. We are going into a time where consumers, followers are so tired of fake. They're tired of Photoshop. They're tired of constant, perfect photo shoots. One of the greatest things that you can do is actually start to showcase real. In fact, even as I film this video here right now, I'm hanging out with people on TikTok, which is super fun, and they get to see all of the mistakes and the behind the scenes. People love seeing real raw, and even as scary as this sounds, unfiltered. Number two thing that I am going to stop doing in 2021 and that I recommend you stop doing, paid shout outs. They are so disappointing across the board, completely disappointing. Uh, every time that I have ever been approached about a paid shout out, I have looked into the stats behind the scenes and most of the people who are offering paid shout outs to promote other people are of course paying for fake engagement and fake followers. I hate to break it to you. Number three thing to stop doing in 2021 and that is most, I would say 99% of giveaways and loops. Uh, I will say that while they can work for some people, some accounts, some situations, most of the time they're gonna lead to a lot of frustration, the wrong followers, and a sudden surge in growth followed by a massive dip. Okay, confession, I was one time a part of a huge giveaway loop that ended in tons of people being threatened with lawsuits. It was crazy, so I am not a fan of giveaways ever. And this is the number four thing that I'm gonna stop doing in 2021. This is so important because I think that you might need to hear this. I am going to stop holding back. I have spent so much of my life, you know, not trying not to be too much, trying not to be annoying, trying not to be so loud, trying not to be, you know, over the top, trying to be nice, trying to be polite, trying to be friendly. And I'm like, you know what, at this point, I'm just gonna share exactly what I need to share. This is my truth, this is my message, this is what I feel I'm supposed to bring to the world. And I'm done filtering everything through the lens of are people going to like me if I share this? Now this is not to be confused with, I'm gonna suddenly start like cussing everyone out in the comments. I see some people here like be controversial and they suddenly decide to like say super offensive things that can actually damage your brand for like the rest of forever. The truth is when you stop holding back and start just being you, you don't have to try to be controversial. You can just be yourself and that naturally is going to be controversial. Let me just tell you, people have problems with things I say all the time just for being exactly who I am, but I'm done letting that hold me back and I recommend that you do too. By the way, if just hearing these four things that you have to stop doing in 2021 to grow massively on Instagram, comment below and let me know which of those four is the most impactful for you. Now, before we talk about the things that you 
want to start doing in 2021, the things that I'm going to do as a part of my Instagram marketing strategy, this is really, really important. This video is for people who want to aggressively grow. That means aggressively grow in following, aggressively grow in engagement, viewership, overall reach, and most importantly, sales and or monetization on the back end of your account. This is not for people who already are stretched thin and saying, what else do I need to do? I'm exhausted, okay? So the things I share are gonna be intense because this is specifically, if you wanna use Instagram as a prominent part of your marketing strategy for your brand or your business. Got it? Do you agree? Cross your heart, I don't want anyone complaining in the comments below. All right, let's dive on in. Number one, stories. So here's the crazy thing that I find absolutely fascinating. Besides posting content or posts or reels on Instagram, there is one way to make sure that no matter what happens, you are at the very top of everyone's feeds all the time. Can you guess what it might be? Maybe you guessed it, maybe you didn't. Instagram stories. The beautiful thing about Instagram stories is you can continually bring yourself back up to the top of everyone's feed, meaning your face, your name, your handle, your uh, profile for them to click through to is always there and available simply by posting more stories. Now, a lot of people think, oh my gosh, but isn't that going to be so annoying? Um, here's the thing. If people love you and enjoy you and or are following you, they want what you have to put out there. They're nosy. Every human is nosy. People want the behind the scenes. They want to know more about you and the brand and the team that you work with and the products and the, and the making of and how people use it, and right? And even better, if you bring them in on decision-making processes in your stories, people go crazy for it because everyone loves to share their two cents. Let me just tell you, everyone loves to share their two cents. I recommend bumping up your Instagram stories uh, to whatever you're doing times two. If that's not very much, I highly recommend getting to a place where you're putting up one to 10 Instagram stories per day. But once again, this is about you and what feels like the right fit for you. But I just recommend turning it up because it continually keeps bringing your profile and your content back up to the very top of everyone's entire Instagram experience. Number two, frequency. Now this one freaks people out every single time. I had a client that was actually in the weight loss space in our marketing agency for years. And we grew that client from $300,000 per year to 3 million in just 11 months. We had incredible, wonderful, awesome success. But when I told people how often we were posting on social media, people got scared. Like they freaked out. They said, that's not possible. That's too much. That's in your face. And we would literally post 10 to 20 to 30 times a day for this client across each social media platform. That is how you 10x growth in a year. It's not by sitting back and being like, oh, well, I hope it works. I remember for the longest time I thought like, if I'm a great marketer, I'll post one piece of content and all of my stuff will blow up. Like I'll sell out. I used to think if I'm such a great marketer, I can like play it cool and just like send one little thing and suddenly everyone's gonna follow me. What I didn't realize for the longest time is that great marketers aren't great marketers because they do something once and sit back and watch as it all rolls in. They're great marketers because they continually pursue the results. Do you get that? Do you understand what I'm saying? This is huge. This was like a mindset shift and I know for some of you guys, it's going to be. Being a great marketer is about continually marketing until you get the results. Got it? So I'm a huge fan of posting on Instagram anywhere from one to five times per day. Now I know what you're thinking, that's way too much, but the crazy thing is, because the Instagram feed is not even in chronological order, you're not guaranteeing that your audience is going to see even a single one of your posts. So why are you worried if they maybe see two in a day? They'll be fine, I promise. You follow brands that post a lot, so I highly recommend increasing your frequency to a lot more than what you have been comfortable with in the past. That's what we've been doing, and it has made a huge impact on our Instagram results. Number three, Reels. Okay, anytime that a platform is 
pushing some new feature, they're going to push out the users and the content that utilize that new feature, especially with Instagram and Facebook trying to keep up with TikTok and YouTube and, oh my gosh, every other platform, Triller, you, uh, Snapchat, like they know that they need to get in on this video game. And Reels is their big breakthrough into this. In fact, that's what Facebook and Instagram are clinging to. And so they're gonna be heavily promoting Reels. What am I saying? Create Reels. If one to five of your posts per day are actually Reels, perfect. Just make sure that you publish them specifically to the feed. Yes, it's gonna make your feed ugly. Who cares because results, did you hear me? Results, Reels are going to be the thing that gets you increased exponential growth on Instagram. Make sure you use the 30 hashtags though. Number five, it's not about you. I am so sorry. I know that that's harsh and I know that you didn't want to hear it. I didn't either. This was one of the craziest mindset shifts for me when it comes to creating content that actually performs. And that is that no one really cares about me until I have shown them that I care about them deeply, consistently, for a long period of time. So when we work with all of our clients, one of the big things that we do is we actually reverse engineer all of the content to make their clients and customers feel super important, served, to feel like they've gotten tons of value. There is so much power in shifting your mentality from how do I look cool to how do I make my customers and clients feel cool? That game changer right there was worth admittance to this video, which was free. Number five, ask for comments, ask questions in your captions. There is, oh my gosh, people like ignore this all the time. They're like, I don't wanna look like I'm asking for engagement, that looks desperate. Okay, but what if you don't and then you don't get any results and then you actually are desperate? I would rather look desperate than be desperate. So the truth is, when it comes to asking questions, asking for comments, people love having the opportunity to engage. People love sharing their opinions. People love sharing advice. So I like to share uh, questions like, here are five of the books that I love. What books did I miss in my list? Let people have the opportunity to feel smart. Give people an opportunity to win. I know so many people who need an opportunity to win in their daily life because they haven't been winning for a while. And you know what? If I can give them that easy shot, that easy shot that makes them feel like a million dollars and gives them maybe that confidence to take that next step in their business, I'm gonna do it. So for example, I'll say like, here are five habits that are really helpful for me. And then I'll say, are there any that I missed? Or are there any that you've tried? Ask questions, give them an easy win. Number six, types of content. This is so big. As I said at the beginning, it's not about professional photo shoots and tons of Photoshop and perfect everything. I want you to shift your mentality and recognize that the best content is going to be the kind where someone says, I would send that to my best friend. Or, you know, I actually shared this on my story. Make it incredibly shareable, taggable, sendable, pinnable. Like make your content an easy yes to sharing. And one of the best ways to do that is to change up the type of content that you're using on Instagram. For us, that looked like listicles, advice, value. And then this is really important, more quotes than I'm comfortable with because every single time that I share a quote that someone says, I need to share this to my Instagram story, they are then becoming a part of my 1,000 raving fans sharing to their entire audience over and over and over again the quotes that I created. So even though you may say, ah, oh, but quotes are so cliche, I get it. But you know what? We all love them. We all love them. I love quotes. I love sharing them to my stories. And you know what? I bet you do too. So give people the easy yes to sharing quotes and content to their stories. Now I could go all day, we could dive into uh, outbound engagement, the times of sharing, we could go into some extra strategies for growth hacking. I want to know, is there anything else that I missed in this video that you want to learn about? Go ahead and ask me in the comments. I love reading your guys' comments and uh, I'm not able to respond to all of them, but I love reading them, coming up with new ideas for content. I want to serve you. Oh, by the way, check out in the bio beneath this video, I put together 300 plus content ideas for Instagram Reels 
totally free. Go ahead and grab it. It's in the bio. Just scroll down a little bit in that bio. If you've enjoyed this video, comment below and let me know which of these tips you are going to utilize in 2021. Did you follow me on Instagram? Let me know and send me a message on IG. You never know. I might reply. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Like this video. I will catch you guys later. Bye for now. Where was I going with that? One, two, three, four, five.